how do we differentiate sine squared of x? For the derivative of sine x, we know that it's equal to the cosine of x. But for now, we will be solving for the derivative of sine squared of x. Before we begin, it's important to understand that sine squared of x is actually a composite function. In case you do not know about this, allow me to briefly explain. Otherwise, feel free to skip ahead to the following part of this video. You see this sine squared x, it actually means sine x raised to the power of 2, and it is a composite function. We have x squared as our outer function, which we will denote it as f of x. And our inner function is sine x, denoted as g of x. You see when we plug the inner function g of x into the outer function f of x, we obtain our original function, sine squared of x. Therefore, it is a composite function. To find the derivative of a composite function, we apply the chain rule. Feel free to check out the video above or in description if you are not familiar with it. First, we take the derivative of this whole term without changing the inner function. In this case, we simply apply the power rule, where we bring the exponent down and reduce the original exponent by 1, which is exactly what we normally do. So, we will be getting 2 multiplied by sine x raised to the power of 1. Then, we multiply it by the derivative of the inner function, which in this case is the derivative of sine x. We know that the derivative of sine x is equal to the cosine of x, so we multiply it by cosine x. Multiply the terms together, and we are done. However, you may notice that in some other explanation videos or when referring to the solution for this question, the derivative is actually equal to sine of 2x. Well, this occurs because this expression can actually be simplified using one of the double angle identities. For instance, if we are given sine of 2x, it is equal to 2 multiplied by sine x and multiplied by cosine x. And now, you might notice that this is actually the same as our original expression, so it is simply equivalent to sine 2x. And we got our final answer. Congratulations! We have just discovered the derivative of sine squared of x. Drop a comment below if you are struggling with any part of the calculations. I spend hours making videos explaining math topics, and all I ask for in return is simply to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.